The number of empty shops on Britain's high streets hit a record high in October, according to the British Retail Consortium. Overall, All just over 11% of shops shot were empty in October, but in some areas that was much higher. One in five stores in Northern Ireland, for example. Welcome to Lisburn Square, the hub of the city. I think it's a disgrace the way they are, but what's the way things is now, like, you know? Mm. I mean, everywhere seems to be the same, but this square here, it never took off from it opened. Mm. And I don't know why it's because the rents were so dear or so high or whatever, you know? I love Lisburn City and I love coming into it and I love boasting about it. So, for me to boast to anyone else, it's not good. So I tend to hold back. Things were going very well and then the first sign of a decline started whenever they brought in NCP traffic wardens. I know it's only for a short while. Posters going up in empty shop windows is better than nothing. They're slowly coming back, which is great and it definitely makes a big difference. You know, you feel better when you see shops that you can choose to go into. They actually have driven the footfall out of Lisburn and we could see that decline happen gradually. Well, Lisburn's on Lisburn Square. Do you know what? It, to me, it never really got a chance. It just, it started off great and everybody waited for it and there was a buzz and next minute it just lost it so quickly. Um, once again, it just needs a bit of help. Um, because you have so many people want to go in, even it's a pleasure to go in to sit just in the middle and watch people. Yeah. There's nobody there, so you're, you're avoiding it. I actually don't go near it. They say it frees up car parking space. Okay, that's fair enough. But I do think that they should have a wee bit more leniency towards the public. Shame the space. So it is. You see this one, it was far better when it was an old market town. I'm talking about what, 40, 50 years ago. Yeah. There was more shops. This town was high. And there's a big market. Now there's not even a decent market. And they built that square and there's nobody in it. Well, you see, in, in retail especially, whenever somebody is purchasing goods, and they are expensive, they obviously want a bit of time. They need time to be sure of what they're getting and what, you know, time to think about it. And the next thing they're going, oh, my time's nearly up. Oh, I'm going to have to rush. And then they run out of the shop and you're left. And you know, you, if they have to go and have the hassle of moving the car again, they're not coming back, they go home. I think they're charging too much rent, too much rates. People can't afford, with the recession on, people can't afford to buy dear things. Yeah. So therefore they have to pay cheaper things. Rates were meant to be reassessed and that was put back to 2015 and with the credit crunch and the recession, whatever at the minute, that should not have been put back because that should have been addressed as an urgent matter. The, the shops can't afford they have to earn big money for the cover their rents and their rates, therefore they have to bring their things in that people can't afford. It's just so they're, 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 out, they're just out in a matter of weeks. Uh, there's a lot of shops available. Landlords are willing to bring the rents down, but there's no negotiating on the rates whatsoever. And they built that square, it was only a waste of time. They took the livelihoods of an awful lot of people on the Dublin Road end of that there. Yeah. We shops. Then the people that owned the wee shops, they couldn't afford the rent and rates in the big shops. Yeah. But now they've built up and there's nobody in them, so what was the sense? You know what I mean? To me it was a waste of money. I mean, Sammy Wilson was the one who was supposed to be addressing the matter and he put it back to 2015. I think it's a mixture of two things. I think it's very bad planning. Right. And uh, I think it's a question of getting the balance right. For example, uh, John Lewis, yeah. I think would bring people into the area. Yeah, so the there. mucking about they've done with the planning permission yeah. of that has just been ridiculous. I mean, I think there'd be people willing, and especially young people, entrepreneurs who want to start a mm. business, but they haven't got a hope if they're not going, if the mm. government is not going to assist and help the situation, it's not going to get any better. The other thing is the um, the actual retailers have to put their money where their mouth is. Uh, I'm just after walking through Greens. Yeah. Um, we used to shop in Greens 20 or 30 years ago. Uh, it hasn't changed. 
if you compare that to say going to Spruce Field and walking into Sainsbury's. The time is in decline and it is, it's really a case of it's too late, the horse is already bolted. I mean, they will have been aware of the situation long before this situation came about. The problem about it is they have to, like for example, um, you go into Sainsbury's, they do price match. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why aren't the local traders doing that? If they are cheaper in a lot of ways. I think the two things most important to be addressed are the traffic wardens and the rates, yep. most definitely. Parking. The cost of parking. Yeah. Being cheaper than Belfast. Well, all that does is antagonise the Belfast traders. And, you know, you can go two miles out the road to Swissfield and it costs you nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, Belfast is getting back in Belfast, they're getting help mm -hmm. because of their situation, but it just doesn't apply to one place. But Lisbon seems to be particularly bad. You're relying, uh, you know, if you want to park and shop on the town, you're sort of going, when you're coming up with parking, have I got the right change? Yeah. You know, there's so no change that. machines, there's nothing. There's so, no for example, actually. It might only be 30p an hour to park, but if you uh, haven't got the 30p, you have to put a pound in. Balamina gives you change. Yeah. None of the machines around here do. So there's potential to attract visitors from Dublin because things are so much cheaper here. I mean, we need help. If anybody needs help, this town needs yeah. help. It's on its knees. I don't know how it can justify having city status when it's not a city. No. It's hardly even a town now.